Hey guys, I got a quick episode for you today. This is going to be part 24 and a half. Um, the reason for the half episode is because someone gracefully pointed out in the comments that we've got a bug in our program. So I'm just making a quick video right now just to fix that one bug because, um, you know, we don't want to continue having that. So anyway, let me show you what the bug is. Let's do the quick fix. It is pretty easy. Some of you guys might have noticed it and you might have already fixed it yourselves, but I just wanted to make it available to those of you guys that may not know how to do it. But it's a simple if then statement around our conditionals. So it's pretty easy. Let's just do it real fast. Okay, so for those of you guys that may not have noticed it, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it on screen. Someone pointed this out in the comments. And again, I'm grateful for you guys um, pointing this out for me. So let's go ahead and um, I've got this open over here. I'm going to run our server really fast and just show you what the one bug was. Um, okay, so when we're working here on our project, I've got it open right here and we go to our posts like that. And then we want to edit a post like awesomeness. And let's say we even make some changes in here. We get rid of one of these words and then we click save and we actually get an error. Now, I don't know how I didn't notice this. I literally did, must not have tested it good, like really at all. Um, anyway, a slug has already been taken. We basically, what's happening on here, if you guys realize, is that um, since we didn't change the slug, um, what happened is it went and then it verified whether it was unique. Well, it's not unique because it's already in the database because it's already assigned to this post. Okay, so it therefore it returns an error and says basically that it's already taken because it's already taken on this post, which prevents us from being able to save. Okay, now what do we do to solve this bug? Well, we can't get rid of the uniqueness because imagine if we did change it and I change this to awesomeness -ness or something and um, we, we actually did change it. Well, what if I already have something named what I changed it to? So we still wanna check that it's unique. We still wanna do that. But we only want to check if it's unique if it has if it's actually changed because if it hasn't changed then um, if it hasn't if it has not changed then we don't need then uh, we, there's no point in seeing if it's unique because it's going to return an error. So what we want to do is if we go over to our code here we can solve this by opening up our post controller which is where I'm at right now and the prop where this uh, bug is happening is in our update method of our post controller. The post controller handles what whether we save and update these posts. The update is actually when it um, actually takes that form and submits it back to the database. So um, this is actually where the error is. And this is what we want to fix. Again, how do we fix this? Well, we can't get rid of the form because what if you did want to change that slug? Um, if you got rid of the form field. That would solve the problem. You wouldn't need to validate it again, but then you'd also not be able to edit the slug. So, um, how do we allow you to edit it, but not it cause it allow it to cause an error? Okay. So, what we would do basically is I'm thinking, and there's several ways you can do this. Um, there is there are some conditional validations in Laravel that get kind of hard to work with. We'd actually have to rewrite how we did the validation to make that work. So what I'm gonna do is something much simpler and that's just wrapping this in an if statement, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna validate it one way if um, the slug is not changed and validate it a different way if the slug has changed. So all we need to do is check whether it's changed and if it is, we validate it. If it's changed, we wanna make sure that it, the new version is unique. And if it has not changed, we just don't validate the slug because it hasn't changed, right? So we already know it's valid from the previous time when it was validated the first time, okay? That's all we're gonna do here. So what we're gonna do is let's come up here, just write a basic if statement. We're gonna do if um, request, and then we're just gonna do input, and then we'll do slug. So if this, oh, there's one other thing we gotta do here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if the request for, if the uh, slug that was submitted, if it's equal to the current slug, then we just wanna validate the title and the body. We don't need to validate the, the slug again. And if it's not, then we wanna validate the slug because that means it's different. So what we're gonna do is we actually need to pull in the current slug into our controller, and then the current slug will compare to this new slug right here. So what do we do? We're gonna say, post equals um, post and we'll just do find and we'll just use the ID because we got the ID from up here 
All right, so we're gonna do post find ID. And then over here, we can just do post um, slug like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the current slug and see if it's equal to the slug that was submitted from the database. If it is the same, then we don't need to validate it because if we, we know that if it's the same and we validate it, we're gonna get an error. So let's go ahead and copy this and we're gonna copy it into this if true statement and just get rid of the slug. Okay, so we get rid of that like that. And then over here, we're gonna do an else if, well, we can just do an else and um, we can wrap this second item down here like that. Perfect. Okay, so basically what we do is we grab the new post up here, then we check do an if statement, we see if it is the slug. If they, if they do equal, that means it hasn't changed, so we don't wanna validate the uniqueness of it, so we're gonna validate everything else. If it has, if it's that's not true, that means it has changed, and we're gonna validate everything, including the new slug, and then on down here, we just continue to save everything like normal, and it's good to go. Let's go ahead and save that, and let's go back over, and let's try it again. So we've got our new post. I'm gonna go ahead, just refresh. So we're coming back in, this is a fresh one. We're going to delete a word here, save changes, and now it has successfully saved. And it's saved with the awesome miss, because we can see that right here, okay? So that's one way just to fix that little bug. Thanks to whoever pointed that out. I just wanted to uh, give it to you guys really quick. Quick video today just to show that. Hopefully some of you guys already knew how to do that, but it's a pretty easy fix. Um, unfortunately, I just didn't catch the bug. I didn't notice that it was there when I finished the previous video, so now it's fixed. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this now to, um, to GitHub, so if you wanna download the new source code, you can do that, and this is the one that won't have the bug. Okay, next video, we're gonna do a couple little, um, we're actually gonna add a blog section of our webpage that shows the current posts and everything like that, just to clean it up a little bit, quick video, and then move on to the big one, the big kahuna, the authentication, the one you guys have all been waiting for. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.